Yo right, guys, welcome back to the channel. So iOS 8 Beta 4 was just released, so I'm going to be showing you the new features that this beta brings to iOS 8. So the update size was around 250 megabytes, and you needed to have 2.4 gigabytes of free storage space to have been able to download and install it. But anyway guys, without further ado, let's get straight into the new features. So the first change I want to talk about is the new completely redesigned control center. So as you can see, there aren't any new features here. It's all mainly aesthetic. They've basically cut down on the amount of translucency and changed your button to white when you have something turned on. I think it looks pretty cool. I like the more modern, glossy new look, but let me know what you think in the comment section down below. Next is the new settings menu for the display, text size and bold text all merged into one as you can see which is something they should have done from the start on iOS 7 in my opinion. Another new feature in settings is a feature to have your messages deleted after a specific time. You can select it from 30 days a year and obviously to keep them forever and I have to admit it's a really nice feature for people who are trying to save space on their device instead of it being wasted on old unwanted messages. My last feature or should I say new app I want to show you is the tips app. So this app essentially gives you quick tips and tutorials about iOS 8 features. It will be updated on a regular basis with new ways to use iOS device features and as you can see here it shows you how to quickly respond to a notification which is awesome and I'm really glad that Apple decided to include this app for people who are struggling with using iOS. So thank you for watching this video guys. So the bug reporter app was also removed in this latest beta which is an app which allows developers to submit bugs to Apple. I'm not really sure why they removed this app, it doesn't really make sense to me but again thank you for watching and as always I will catch you in the next video.